Bowing out after weeks of speculation, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe told his nation and the world that his declining health has left him unable to lead. During eight years, I controlled my chronic disease, ulcerative colitis, without any issues. I kept focusing on my job as Prime Minister. I have to answer to the public, and I'm not ready to continue my mandate. Abe has suffered from ulcerative colitis, an inflammatory bowel disease, since he was a teenager. The 65-year-old had been managing his chronic illness while in office, but he said he did not want it to impact decision-making after a recent checkup revealed that his condition was worsening. It's the second time Abe's illness has forced him to step down, though he recently became Japan's longest-serving prime minister. He first resigned in 2007 after being in office for just one year as support for his administration plummeted. Abe survived the tsunami and the Fukushima nuclear disaster in 2011. He became prime minister for a second time in December 2012 after his right-wing Liberal Democratic Party's landslide election win. A staunch conservative and nationalist, he launched an aggressive policy known as Abenomics, which helped jumpstart the economy after two decades of stagnant growth. He's also won praise for reasserting Japan's presence on the global stage and improving relations with the US. His administration, though, has been marred by a series of gaffes and scandals. Three party members have been arrested for corruption in the last year while Abe himself has faced allegations of misuse of public funds and nepticism. He has also come under fire for his handling of the coronavirus. Abe said he would continue as prime minister until a replacement is chosen. According to local reports, the LDP will decide next Tuesday on how to hold a vote to replace their party leader. The election would then be followed by a parliamentary vote for a new prime minister.